From there, we're going to tie a fly that's possibly even more simple than the Dolbach, if that's possible. And it's a brassy. And again, it's a lethal pattern, despite the fact this simplicity. I'm tying this one oversized so you can see what I'm doing. Take touching turns of thread down the shank of the hook, as we've done before. And we're going to tie in some tails. Either brown cock hackle tails or cocked leon tails, because this is a mayfly version. You can tie it without the tails, and then it's pretty much a caddis version. So take a bunch of ginger cock hackle, pinch your loop on top of the hook. And that's just fine as it is. Then we're going to tie in some copper wire. This time it's not going to be the rib, it's going to be the entire body of the fly. And it's essential if you want a smooth finish to run the copper wire all the way up the abdomen of the fly. Otherwise, you're going to get a horrible looking bump when you wind the copper wire forwards. Tie in the copper wire and take the thread at least two-thirds of the way up the hook shank. It doesn't matter if you go a little bit further. Like that. I'm going to take the copper wire and we're going to wind it to form the abdomen of the fly. Now, I suppose it's a bit like ribbing, except this time you're doing it in touching turns, and it doesn't matter whether you go in the same direction as the thread, because you're not trying to reinforce anything. You're just building a body of touching turns of copper wire, and you take that to just about three quarters, maybe a bit further, of the way up the hook shank, and tie off the wire. Remember, you don't cut wire, you just wiggle it and break it off where you want it. Very slim, attractive, shiny, segmented body. That's one of the things that makes this fly so effective. And now, we've, having tied the body, we're in a position to build the thorax. And you can use dubbing for this, but we're going to use peacock curl. Just tie in the peacock curl and take the thread back until it gets onto the copper wire body and then bring it back to the front of the hook again just behind the eye. The reason for that is so you don't end up with a gap between the thorax and the abdomen. Wind the peacock curl, touching turns, nice neat touching turns to give you a nice fluffy finish. Oops, I'm going to break, I'm going to have to cut it off, there we go, whip finish, and if you want to, you can add a touch of varnish to finish it off. Mayfly Brassy. As I say, you can tie it without a tail and end up with the midge pupa or midge larvae imitation, maybe even a caddis imitation. It has the great advantage of being a very rapidly sinking fly for something that doesn't weigh very much. And it's particularly effective in small sizes and fished on light tackle. It really is a go to pattern much of the time, and it's just deadly simple.